what's happening everyone, my name is Speed Streak. welcome to Speed Streak Discussions, where we discuss topics relating to video games, movies, TV shows, comic books, or anything geek related. Now for this video, we're going to be taking a look at, well, the new chapters for Balin Wonderworld, chapters 7, 8, and 9. Now, for those of you who have followed my channel, I have looked into the, the opening sequence for Balin Wonderworld, the, and the rest of the chapters 1, 2, through, and as well as three, four, five, and six. And they all actually have different situations with different people going through different types of depression, anxiety, trauma, PTSD, and as well as many other how should I put it? Like mental issues. Which is actually perfect for this type of game. Well it's sort of like Persona 5 but for kids. And I think that is a really good concept. Also, for those of you who have followed my channel, I actually have played the demo for Bailey Wonderworld, and I think it's pretty fun. Of course, well, for the controls, they're very simple, but hopefully they'll get, hopefully, they'll improve upon it by the time the game comes out. Alright then, so for the seventh chapter we're going to look at is a man, well, the former chap being obsessed with past glory. And from what I've seen from, like, the from the, the screenshots, it's actually about a, a chess champion who, well, loves chess. And from my from the description, when he when he actually got beaten by a younger person, something snapped and he stopped loving chess. And yeah, that is actually an interesting type of um, well, interesting chapter. So, what can we expect from this? Well, it's time for us to look into the mind of this champion and see whether his what, what happens to his love for chess. Alright, and here it is, the Chapter 7 of Balaam Wonderworld, the former champion obsessed with past glory. And to be honest, this could be a very interesting level to look into. So without further ado, Huh, interesting. Call back to Kim Hearts. Okay. Huh. Whoa. Ego much? Oh, that's the... Oh, okay, so that's the champion. Okay. Interesting. Oh, he lost. Absolute checkmate. Oh crap. I did not expect that. I really didn't. Okay, so I guess my best guess for the boss fight would be like a giant chess piece. And I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, but okay then. Huh. That is actually quite interesting. That is actually a bit... Hmm. Hmm. That is quite interesting. And... Yeah, if you... Yeah. So, I guess from what we've seen from his mind, he really does have a big ego in chess, thinking, Yes, I'm the number one chess player in the entire world! But... Yeah, I mean, I know some. I know someone's love for something like chess, or being thinking that he's the very, very best at well at chess is actually. Hmm. How should I put it? Yeah. Well, obsessive, as the title as the title said. But yeah, he. I think the. I think he's more about the. I think that I think the chess I think for the chess champion I think he's more obsessed with well being number one and winning and, and wanting to win at chess more than well just playing the game it's enough itself. But yeah, I, I can see that how his original love for chess can well event can eventually become more like obsessing winning chess instead of just playing the game and just 
being a good player. But I, I can really see that. I can really see that some people have become so obsessed with something that they love that they're more desperate to win it than just, well, than just play it, than, well, than just have, like, a good game. I mean, if they lose, they're, they've, they've lost. And with him losing, he, I mean, with him losing, like, just that one game, and that is similar to the, how should I put, how should, the quote that, like, one, I think it's either one bad day can destroy everything, or one bad apple will just, and some, something like that. But yeah, I mean, with that one game, he just lost it. He's like, no, this can't be. I'm the champion. I, I can't lose. He's like, I don't want to win. I don't want chess anymore. I hate it. I hate it so much. And that's that. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's how far someone's obsession with winning something than just... And just loving, just loving the game would tear someone apart. I think that for that, after you beat the boss, he would come to realize, wait, it isn't my, it really, wait, wait a minute, this isn't my, I haven't had a love for just playing chess. I just had a love for win, just winning it. And maybe at the end of the chapter, he would realize his mistake and just like become a mentor or a teacher for people who. Well, aspire to become chess players themselves. I'm I'm not really sure how the game, how the chapter will end, but hopefully things will turn out the better for him. All right, then. So the next chapter we're going to look into is Chapter Eight: The Lady Too Scared to Love. And from what I read from the description, it's about Ibn Bia. Hope I pronounced it correctly. Who, from what we from what I've read, unfortunately lost her parents and she's afraid that if she well loves someone else she would lose them again and she doesn't want to lose any more loved ones and I think from from the from that description she decides to push everyone else away to make sure that they don't get hurt but I think that's actually a bad idea because she's actually hurting herself because she she's actually she's letting her fear control her so and that I, yeah I can I can really see that and some people may ha may have that issue. So let's so without further ado, let's look into this chapter to see how she, how her mind is processing this. Alrighty then, here it is, chapter eight preview: the the lady too scared to love. And I'm quite interested to see what this looks. So without further ado. Okay, she looks really nice. Oh, oh, is that her husband to be? Oh, oh, oh! I see her parents. So. No! Oh no! No! Don't go! Oh no! Why does that remind me of Frozen? That's so sad! Okay, seriously, I did not expect that, but damn! That is that. Oh my gosh, I, I feel sorry for her. Oh my gosh. That's just, oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't really expect that. And so it start, so it starts out really well with her having a good life and her parents still living and she gets proposed to her fiance, which is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, but then when her parents died, oh my gosh, she just, she just felt as if she just wants to be alone. But then, when she when she locked when she yeah I think the way how how she left out her fiance it, oh, outside her house like both literally and figuratively like 
she just wants to be left alone to mourn, she realizes that she actually made a terrible mistake and just... Oh my gosh. She, she just feels... She just... I think... Oh my... She... I think it was her heart just freezing up, realizing that she should be alone for... Oh my gosh! That is... Oh man! It feels as if she just wants to... I don't... I originally thought that she was like gonna bottle up all of her emotions, but she just... Oh my... She just let her sadness and fear just overtake her. Feeling as if she just... She'll be alone forever. That is... Oh my gosh! I'm not sure what the monster or inner demon will be will be looking like in that one, but I hopefully that in the end she realize that well her parents will still be living with will, will be alive within her and she would hopefully move on well not hopefully hopefully keep their memory alive and just live her life with her fiance. Man! Wow. Okay then, so the chapter 9. The next chapter we're going to look into is called The Man Who Fell for a Princess. And from what I've seen from the screenshots, it's actually about, I believe, a man who is dressing up as a clown who's working at an amusement park who sees, well, a princess and Actually, he's someone who is, well, dressed up as a princess and fell in love with her, but unfortunately, he doesn't know how to propose his love for her. And I think from what, from what this, I think from, for this one, is that he's afraid that she'll just laugh at him and just think that he, that his, just think that, oh my, yeah, that, I think that's another type of fear. Fearing well, for in chapter eight, it's the fear of losing your loved ones. For this one, it's a it's the fear of not being loved back. And huh, that is just okay. That is a that is also another type of issue. All right then. So without further ado, let's look into the last chapter for this video and see what we look into in the man who fell in love with the princess's mind. Alright, and then here it is, the newest and last trailer for Balin Wonderworld in for Chapter 9, A Man Who Fell in Love with a Princess. And I'm quite interested for this one. So without further ado. Whoa, okay. Ooh, nice, nice, whoa, nice amusement park. Whoa! Yeah, it is a clown. Oh. Oh, it is her. The princess. Trying to impress her. No, he's afraid. What well, is that, Balin? He's afraid of not being alive. Oh my gosh! No! Is that like a Kingdom Hearts reference? Yeah, it is. Holy crap! Whoa! I think I read a comment that says, talk about a, a ride of emotions. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Well, as I, I did state earlier that this has a different type of issue. Well, definitely from chapter 8. And, okay then. So, it looks like he, he was... There, it looks like they were both working at the amusement park, and it looks like for his for his mind, he is actually split between two emotions, like whether she, whether she would accept his love or the fear of being rejected. And I, of course, of course, a lot of people they have that issue as well, the fear of well, yeah, well, of falling in love with someone, but also having the fear of being rejected by them and being and becoming heartbroken. That is, that can be a ride of emotions. Like, does does he love me or does she love me? Does she not? And 
yeah, I mean, sometimes people are afraid of, well, speaking up to someone and proposing their love, but, um, yeah, but yeah, they they do get that fear of being rejected by someone whom they love, and for they think that they won't love them back. That's yeah. But yeah, that is a that is a really interesting topic. That yeah. But yeah, it does show that he's allowing his emotions to control him, and sometimes that is not good. I mean, if you let your if you let your emotions and thoughts take over your life, then yeah, as he was right as he was going through that roller coaster, it would spiral out of control. That is a really that is a really good concept and topic. Hopefully, at the end of that episode, after you defeat his inner demon, he would muster up the courage to propose to her, and hope oh, and I believe hopefully she'll say yes. And he would live happily ever after. But, but that is really interesting. I really, to be honest, I really love how Balin Wonderworld is going through all these topics of different, men, different mental issues, and, and different for. I mean, it, it is different for every single person that we're going to see in Balin Wonderworld. So it looks like we're going to have three chapters left, and I'm not sure when those trailers are going to be uploaded, but I, I believe they'll, they'll be uploaded in March, and at the end of March, that's when Band of Wonderworld is going to come out, so I'm actually quite excited for this. So those are my reactions to chapters 7, 8, and 9 of Balin Wonderworld. I mean, what do you guys think? Are you, does this give you yet more hyped about Balin Wonderworld? What are your thoughts about each chapter? And what would you like to expect from the last three chapters? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. So that's going to be all the time I have today for this video, but don't go where we'll stop plenty of more reactions, discussions, and updates to look forward to more soon. So stay tuned for more. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to super smash that like button, leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video, and don't forget to share a friend if you want to, and be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to get updated for all the latest content. So once again, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.